Coming up on today's show, we have a little bit of different twist on a fettuccine and an awesome pie. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Rhonda Fitterer. And I'm Laverne Didi. And we've got a little bit of different twist. I'm going to tell you the ingredients of, of the strawberry pie we're going to make. And this is something I don't have to tell you because it's your recipe. That's right. I've been doing it for years. But to let our viewers know what ingredients we're going to include today in this strawberry okay. pie, we need water, sugar, cornstarch, and strawberry jello, and fresh strawberries. And Five simple ingredients. It is. It is. I mean, you know, when you go to the, this is going to be the glaze for the strawberry pie. Okay. And. It is so easy, so simple. You well, make it for. That. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll come over. We're going to start with the glaze uh, okay. to make that because we want that to cool down. And as that's cooling, we're going to start with uh, our uh, Italian shrimp fettuccine. Okay. Doesn't that sound great. Oh, I can't wait. Okay. Um, as we've talked, um, okay, we're going to put in one and a half cups uh, water. Okay. Oh, I guess my pan was hot already. <laughs> We're going to speed that up a little bit there. And then three-fourths cup of sugar. Okay. So a half, one and a half cups water, three-fourths cup sugar, and then uh, two tablespoons of cornstarch. And we're just going to bring that to a boil. And uh, it just starts to boil, and it starts to get a clear look. Okay. You know, uh, when you start with the cornstarch and that, it is it looks kind of milky. And now once this is... You, you, you were saying earlier that, I mean, if you go to the store, you can buy a glaze. You can. But why would you buy a glaze when you can make it? Make it uh, for a fraction of the cost and so much better. And it's just so easy because this glaze here, um, when I bought my strawberries, I did just double check at the grocery store to see how much the glaze would be. A small tub, um, you just get a small eight inch pie out of that. You, okay. it, it was two sixty five. Okay. I thought, oh, now I would need two of those tubs to make a larger pie. Okay. That's a lot just in a glaze. Plus having to buy fresh strawberries on top of it. It's Absolutely. It's pretty expensive pie. So here we are. We have water, sugar, cornstarch, and we add a box of strawberry jello. So it's like how much simpler and how much cheaper can you get than that? Right. So, when well, most of those ingredients maybe outside of the strawberry jello, you probably would already have on hand. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, like I said, you know, you just want to bring that to uh, a boil. And as we see this, you can see that it is um, kind of a milky yet. And as yep. soon as it gets uh, boiling here, it's going to be clear. Okay. And, and then that's going to thicken up and. We have our, our, our huge kettle here of water started for fettuccine for our next recipe. That's right. That's already going there, too. So so let's just get this. And it, it goes quickly. There's, you know, so easy. Like I said, you know, we just, uh, we want to be able to cut prices, uh, our grocery budget a little bit here and there. So this is a good way. And now with those fresh strawberries out there. Oh, yep. They're coming that is in. just the best. And that. And one thing, you know, strawberries don't keep a long time at all. So you want to, you know, use them as, you know, that day or, or, you know, a day or so after you buy them because, uh, you know, they already, you know, will start to, you know, spoil. Okay. But, you know, you're making this strawberry pie. And so we're going to bring that over here. Let me just take that off the burner. And as, as you can see, that's already, you know, clear doesn't have that milky look like we right. had, had before. And now I'm going to add a box of strawberry jello. And the thing is too, you can use the sugar-free jello. And you know, for those that especially diabetics, you know, you will be cutting back a little bit. Yes, we have sugar in here, but you're not going to have you if you use the sugar-free jello, you know, you're cutting back a little bit. Sure. So just because this here is um, hot and it's boiling, we're gonna, that jello will just melt in there. Or I, I shouldn't say melt, dissolve. Right. Okay. And you can just smell that. It smells so great. good, doesn't it though? <laughs> it 
It really does. And so this makes a, a nice uh, quantity of glaze. I mean, it makes great. I'm going to use um, a graham cracker crust. Okay. I'm cheating a little bit. I starting with a pre-made one. Okay. But you can also, with strawberry pie, I have many a times used my regular pie crust too, okay. um, for that. So whichever you prefer, if you like that strawberry, I mean the regular graham cracker or the regular pie crust. Okay. So that's already dissolved and we're going to set that aside here. I'm going to just set it on my hot plate and let that cool. Right I, next to me so I can just touch it. So, oh, well, maybe we no, should. No, we're good. Be, we're, oh, we're I'll good. be good. <laughs> I thought you just wanted to smell it. Well, I can smell it. and <laughs> It's just one of those things that's too hot, though. I can't dip my finger in it. Uh, not right away. I don't think so. <laughs> now with the fettuccine, uh, we're, what we're going to do here, I got the water boiling. Let's go Kay. over here. And with this recipe, where do we have that recipe? I'm just going to oh. let our viewers know what ingredients we're going to put in here oh, so we can okay. keep with the theme of what we're doing All right. now. So, Italian strip fettuccine, you're going to need olive oil, mushrooms, green onions, garlic, diced tomatoes, fresh parsley, white wine, mm -hmm. fettuccine, cook, uncooked shrimp, and lemon juice. Those are the yeah. ingredients that we're going to use yeah. in this recipe today. And none of those are difficult ingredients that you don't, you know, and you don't have around your kitchen so okay so especially the white wine <laughs> oh. <laughs> so we're going to put the fettuccine in here it says you know eight ounces of fettuccine and this box actually is 12 i didn't see a box that said just eight and 12 i'm not going to take out a few you know we're going to cook it all up we're going to cook it all up right because you can always use those for something if you don't use it all for the um you know for your uh Italian shrimp, right? You know, for the recipe. Stuff. For the recipe, correct. Okay, we're gonna just get that. And I have that boiling. And uh, one thing too. Um, now I did put a little bit of salt in here. Okay. You know, uh, I like to cook the noodles with a little bit of salt. It just doesn't seem quite right if you don't. <laughs> and that. So uh, make sure you have a big kettle of water. The, the key to having your spaghetti or like fettuccine noodles like that not sticking together so easily is having a big kettle with plenty of water in it okay so good so tip. We'll, we're gonna just turn that down a little bit and we'll stir that occasionally so we're gonna come over here and we're gonna turn up skillet here we're gonna start with two tablespoons of olive oil okay there we go and then we're going to, I guess I need a, my spoon here. We're going to uh, saute um, mushrooms and your fresh mushrooms is what you want. Okay. It says about a cup of um, sliced mushrooms. Okay. So we're going to add that in here. And it says four um, green onions chopped. Okay. So I've got that in here. And then, of course, your garlic. It says, uh, you know, one tablespoons of minced garlic here. And I think I might have had just a tish more than just a tablespoon, but well, we're starting out with more pasta, so that's all right. You that's just right. Keep on adding. <laughs> that's right. But you know, garlic is such a wonderful ingredient uh, uh, when you're cooking and stuff. That you know, you want this. So we just want to saute saute this for. Um, just maybe two minutes okay just until they start getting they're heated and this does not take long to um you know for them to get tender okay and, and you don't want it mushy okay so because what we're also going to do is uh, we have two cans of um diced tomatoes okay and as you can see i got two different brands but that's okay it's all right uh, that was what was in my cupboard that was what was in the mini store downstairs. Uh, in my mini grocery store, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's just like, if it's a good sale, you stock up. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing that just hurts me more than buying something full price when I thought, oh, it was on sale, I could have bought more. <laughs> and that, but, but you gotta watch with your bargain shopping. Sometimes, shopping, sometimes you can uh, 
it's a great deal, but if you don't end up using it, not it's so not, great. It's not a good deal anymore. So, so we just want to simmer this here, and then we're going to add the tomatoes uh, with the juice and all. We're not okay. going to uh, um, drain that. So let's just give that one more, couple more seconds here for that. Well, and the nice thing about this recipe, everything's so fresh with this. It's just... It is. It's, it's an awesome recipe. You know, and when we talk about the fettuccine, we usually think of Alfredo, mm -hmm. which, is, which is great. I love it. But that has so many more calories than this will be. Yes. So this will be just, an, like I said, a nice twist, a nice version to uh, shrimp fettuccine. So, you know, the Alfredo kind. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add the two cans of tomatoes. Okay. So we're going to bring that to a boil. We added the, to, uh, you know, got our tomatoes going here. We're going to add a half cup of chopped parsley. Okay. It says fresh parsley. And, you know, when you, you buy your parsley and... You have that bunch and you need a fourth cup or half a cup you know you always have way more than you need right and stuff so um, I will go ahead and freeze that fresh parsley sure and this is what I have here and you know it, it breaks up really nice and you got it and you're cooking it in there hey it's great why waste it right when you can do that so and then it asks for um, three tablespoons of uh, wine, okay. white wine, and that. So we're gonna add all that in there, and then we're gonna have it kind of simmer for about 15 minutes or so, and uh, just so all the flavors blend together. Okay. And at the very end, we're gonna add uh, shrimp, and you wanna make sure you have, if you have shrimp, that has the tails on it make sure you remove that okay uh shrimp and then two tablespoons of um, lemon juice is all that's going to go in here yet so <coughs> oh excuse god me. bless you oh excuse me so we're going to let that simmer a bit here and let's just kind of come over and stir our noodles here and see how those are coming along yeah so that'll just take a little bit more yet till they get a little softer but they're just you don't want to make them, you know, mushy. Right. I, I like my noodles firm. So we have that. That's good. So um, all we have to do now is wait till this here kind of blends together. Okay. And we'll be back. And then our um, glaze should be cooled off. And we can put that together with the strawberries and add it to our pie. And Perfect. Sauce here, or for the fettuccine here, it's just about ready. So we're going to just let that go just a little bit more. But while we're doing that, we're going to finish up our strawberry pie. Oh, these strawberries smell yeah, that wonderful. That is cool. So we can put that on there. So, and uh, I have about a good four, four to five cups of fresh strawberries here. Okay. Because my the pie shell that I have is, you know, it's a pretty big one there. It's the one that says two extra servings. Okay. You know, <laughs> on that, so we just want to get that all in here. And one thing with the glaze, you know, like I say, said earlier, strawberries don't keep real well, or for very long. But right. with the glaze. It definitely keeps longer. Okay. You know, it keeps the strawberries from spoiling. If it has a chance to. Yeah. It probably won't, you know, so we're just going to. Well, I mean, and this is a no-bake pie. I it mean, is. you don't, I mean, you're not, it's awesome for summertime. You're getting into strawberry season and you don't have to heat up the kitchen. That's right. Heat and up and as you can see here, you know, there's plenty of glaze for this, this amount of strawberries to fill up this pie here. And this isn't gonna take long to set up so we can sample this yet. We probably might be able to. All right. Okay. 
Okay. So look at the, a nice amount of, uh, you know, filling we have here for our pie. Yes. Okay. And you know, one thing nice with these here, uh, you, the, you know, this is not on top of the pie, this right. crust, that you can turn that over and you can actually put that in your refrigerator for your pie now. Right. To cover, cover. You don't so. have to break out a, anything to put your pie in. That's right. And stuff. So, okay. So we're going to come over here now. Um, our noodles were soft and I did empty out the water already. Okay. So what we're going to do here, um, finish this up. We add two tablespoons of lemon juice. Okay. And then we're going to add our shrimp. And that is all that it's going to take. So it goes very quickly and stuff. So we're going to just add the shrimp to it. Now with the shrimp, I mean, they, how long do we have to cook that up then until the shrimp are... You, you know, a couple of minutes. Shrimp does not take long okay. at all. And the thing is, if you overcook shrimp, they get tough. Okay. So you don't want that. So we're going to just... And it says um, around eight ounces of shrimp. Okay. You know, so um, you know, just whatever you have. If you have a few more shrimp, then it, the recipe calls for, I think that'll just go over just very nicely. It'll be just it? fine. That's right. So. so if you have more shrimp, more noodles, more sauce, we actually made more than the recipe. We just got more. Right? <laughs> <laughs> we use that recipe for a starting point. Yes. And I think now this too would be wonderful with... Uh, some serving this with garlic toast or absolutely or breadsticks or, or mm -hmm. some and, and we've got some great recipes out there yes in, in our cookbook uh, for some breadsticks and and that so that would be great and as we can see the juice from the tomatoes pretty much um, cooked up there it's not real liquidy but you do want um, you know, a little bit. So when you put it on your noodles, that you have a little bit of a kind of a sauce there. Sure. So, like I said, we just want to get this heated up. And we're just going to come over here and we're going to get some noodles. Here to, oh, excuse me here. Okay. Um, usually when I um, cook my noodles, uh, I'll break them in half, but this is the way you feature them, get them in a restaurant. You want them nice and uh, long so you can really slurp and <laughs> <laughs> put that around your uh, uh, spoon, spoon and, and fork. Stuff, yes. So. Okay. Well, I think well, I think is... it looks wonderful and just a, a different shrimp recipe versus you know yeah. feta, you know we're having fettuccine noodles here instead mm -hmm. of having a creamy which always excellent yes but and i'm like having a feeling this is going to be just as good it'll be just as good and it's going to like i said it's it won't be quite as rich you know as many calories and there we'll get a few more shrimp on there all right oh okay doesn't that look great? It looks absolutely divine. Okay. You can hold that and I get the strawberry pie. It's not going to say who's going to go home with that pie. <laughs> is, that, is that right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then and this again, your your recipe is here. So yes. mm -hmm. thank you so much for, for bringing those um, forward. To get these recipes, just go to our website, www.ctctel.com. And thank you always to the workshop for being our sponsor. Go to our website, submit your recipes for us to cook for you. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a good evening.